Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will learn about how to make a 3-bit odd parity generator within the Multisim. As we know that odd parity generator is just like the even parity generator except with the addition of one NOT gate at the output. And how it's used to work is simple that when there are when there is even number of ones on the input side. Again, I am repeating that when there are even number of ones on the input side, it will generate a one on the output side. So, let's check it that either it uh, performs well or not. So, we will take our DC power supply. Apart from DC power supply, we need one ground for our proper operation. We need to connect the negative end of the negative end of the voltage to the ground. Okay. After it, we need two XOR gates. TTLN. We need two XOR gates. For XOR gates, we can we can go and search within the TTL. Okay, so we have to search for XOR gates that where they are. So 74LS136D is our XOR IC. Okay, after it, we need one probe, indicator probe for the output. But before probe, one thing we forgot is to add the NOT gate as well. So we will go for our NOT gate. So where our NOT gate I see, we will search for it. This is our NOT gate. So we will add it on the output. Okay, now we need to connect our NOT gate with the with the output and the output of the first XOR gate with the input of the second XOR gate. Yeah, in the last we need three dip switches. So we will go to place basic and then two switches and then dip switch one. So this is our this is my first switch. This is my Second switch, and this is my okay. Now we will combine three of these um, three of these switches with one another, and we will connect them with the five volt. Now we need to connect two of the top of the switches with the XOR gate. Okay, now we can see that now there is even number of ones on the input side because zero is considered as even. So we are getting our parity bit or parity bit. Now we will, when we will make one as odd, why it is odd? Because there is just one, uh, one logic one time. So it is. It is odd, considered as odd, but when we will make it as E1, like 2, then it will generate an odd parity bit, okay? Then then we, if we will make it like odd again, like 3 ones are there, so 3 ones are odd. So, if we again make them 2, you can see that uh, our parity bit is generated. So, when there is odd number of 1 on the input side, our parity bit will be generated. So this is the basic concept behind the three bit odd parity generator. Hopefully you got the concept. So thanks for visiting our channel. 